what's good you guys sneaker tv here and today i'm going to be reviewing these air jordan 11 platinum tints uh so sorry guys uh for inconsistent uploading um we like last time we uploaded was three months ago but we're trying to change that we're trying to upload as much as we can you know we're in high school now it's kind of difficult so we're just trying to keep up but yeah you can expect more videos uh to come from us within the next months and so forth so uh leave a like on this video uh, subscribe and follow us on instagram and snapchat all links will be in the description so let's get into this review so as you guys saw in the intro uh i'm gonna be reviewing you know these air jordan 11s platinum tints uh i got these in a size 10 and a half at my local foot locker for a retail price of, a, of a 220 us dollars uh right here is the box it's nothing special you know it says air jordan uh you know <laughs> Uh, right here it says Nike Air. Air Jordan 11 Retro. Nike Air again. This is a different box. Usually it would come with like some sort of flap. But this time it didn't come with it. And uh, like the other Jordan 11 boxes, it would slide out. But the, for some reason Jordan Brand didn't want to do that on this pair of Air Jordan 11s. But it's, it's whatever. Um... These are a really uh like cool shoe. I like the looks of it. The colorway is awesome. Uh I just don't kind of like this black. It'd be kind of nice if they did this like a like a lighter color or maybe like a like a cream white or something. It just it just it's just weird having the whole shoe white, you know, even like the midsole and then just having this black. It it kind of bothers me, but yeah. Um I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on these. These are still sitting at Full Locker and online. I don't know. I really like these a lot, in my opinion. They're my favorite Jordan uh, Retros. The Jordan 11 Retro is my favorite Jordan. And usually these sell out, like, immediately. So I'm not really sure why these are sitting on shelves, but you can still pick them up. And, uh, yeah. Also, on the inside, I'll show you the left here. There is this, um, well, I don't know what to call this. It goes inside the shoe, like a like a shoe tree box or something like that. This is plastic. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, but this is plastic and it's, you know, like the main, like, uh, sub color of the shoe. Air Jordan 11s usually have this. I know the Space Jams have this. It's like, a, it's a purple one. I'm not sure about the other Jordan 11s, but I'm sure that, uh, They'll have very, something very similar to this. I'm like, you know, your regular cardboard, uh, like shoe tree box. So, uh, there's nothing too special about the shoe. Usually right here, there'd be patent leather, but it's like, a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a very like smooth, silky touch. Uh, it's, it's very different, but the upper is the same, the mesh upper. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is 3M. Like this upper, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't, I don't doubt it if it would be. But uh, right here is the inside. I think specials are ten and a half. Uh, th the bottom reminds me of the Air Jordan 7210 because like it's kind of like see-through and it's pretty cool. You can see like the Joe Man carbon fiber right here, the black carbon fiber. Uh, yeah, so like that's pretty much about it for the shoe. It's very simple. Air Jordan 11 Platinum Tint, still sitting at Foot Locker. I don't know why, I don't know how, but yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, turn on our post notifications, add us on Snapchat, follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff. See you in the next video.